All right, what's up guys? Today we are playing some Answer Not. I've never played this before, um, but I remember uh, snatching it up when I seen that it was a walking simulator a while back. Hey Zach. Okay, I wasn't calling for anything in particular. I just wanted to talk to you. It's not that I'm bored or anything, not at all. Tuesdays are always a lot of fun. And Stacy got that right. Fucking Stacy. I bet I didn't have enough work already. Anywho. Yeah, don't forget to book this year's destination, okay? Since you're not over busy working from home. No, mister, you're not fooling me. I know you didn't forget about it. Yep, I saw the catalogs on the table, Zach. Learn to hide your evidence, sweetheart. <laughs> and I also know how much you love these messages, but come on. Sometimes I just dream of you answering the phone so I don't feel like a crazy person talking to herself all the time. Shit. Jeff's coming. Okay, talk to you later. Love you. Okay, obviously that is a Donnie Darko ripoff. No, not ripoff, but they couldn't use the actual name of the movie, I guess. Reminder, please read. Hey, oh. sorry. I just finished. I got stuck again. Because of Stacy and her great habit of leaving work early. Yeah, as usual. You know, this time I had to proofread her whole paper before I went into print. Anyway. I'll be home in about an hour. Hey, could you please get the chicken out of the freezer for tonight? Thanks. See you in a bit. Love you. Your PC broke again, right? You should ask my friend Kenny. He's like Charlie. He'll totally fix it up in no time. I can call him for you if the phone really is the problem. Winky face. Gorgeous village hanging on the rocks above the Mediterranean Sea, an old shell collector told me the name of the place meant giant squid. What a weird choice. Absolutely can't remember if that's June or me. The guide, maybe? Uh, Switzerland, trip to visit, June's little brother. The little brat is still doing wonderfully in the Kern. She's so unbearably proud. Geneva's like lake helps a lot relieving tensions and forgetting you're the dumb one. Bright side, Calvin came along. The meeting I'll cherish forever in my head and keep this keep in this notebook. The day our brothers met. Calamero. Gigante. Gorgeous village hanging on the rocks above the Mediterranean Sea. I just read that twice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rest in peace, plant. To-do list, finish. Vietnam report, finish. Mood board for DBS. Magazine project, cook a real meal for real. 20 minutes, guitar. Clean desk, or not, or yes. Cookies. Electricity bill, change hard drive. Water plants so they don't die. Laundry. We made it to Paris, and here's not a second. We, there's not a second we spent without thinking about you guys. We found this marvelous spot a few days ago that we've spent every afternoon in since. Aiden is so relaxed now, he can't even feel his body anymore. Have an awesome, normal day back home. Jody and Aiden Holmes. The only one he loves more than me. Oh, cool. Okay. 
pictures. Kitty. Brave new word. I told you. Okay, you're gonna be the first one. That's really all it says. Here's more pictures. Travel notebook. Note to self. Buy new notebook. Weirdest thing happened today. We tried to go and visit Shambhala with Zach, as Chloe recommended lately. But turns out half the temples are gone. Blown up. According to the locals, some bizarre treasure hunter came over with his team. And suddenly, gunfire, rockets, and helicopters even. And now we welcome to visit ruins and ashes. This was not the kind of trip Zach and I were expecting, really. I can't help but ponder. What were they thinking? Doggy? Dear Esther, thanks for the pictures. I I click that. No. Wait a second, is this the same game company that did Marie's Room? Because that looks familiar. Hmm. No touching, I'm finishing tonight. My name is Zach and I never use the phone. The introverts anonymous disapprove this shaming. Okay, adult group every Wednesday, lifeguard certified instructor. Swimming with Ellie, afraid of the water? Come to us and we guarantee you'll be swimming like a fish within a month. Ensure the safety of your family. Register now and we will install your shelter tomorrow. Uh, white run stables, how horseback riding in the mountains. We welcome everyone who loves horses. Established 1826, the white run stables has been running in the family ever since and is now famous for its unforgettable trails in Oregon's higher mountains. You won't believe our horses can go this way, and yet they can. Every day of the week except Monday. Trails length, two hours, three hours, five hours. Book your tour. Invitation, Zach Irvine, Inheritance, they can't get my name right, Bird, Magazine, Picture, Hypno Hypnoticism, its benefits, values, and dangers. Calvin gave this for you yesterday as a warning. He's all into sleepwalking cures and mind-blocking powers against evil forces now. His latest theory is that you'll end up a brainless puppet that follows everything I say if I keep talking to you in your sleep. Next time we visit, give your brother a hug and tell him you love him. Will you? He's already growing to dislike me. And please, don't read this BS. The 
cake is a lie. Shopping list. Computer tower, PlayStation 1, guitar, three to four pairs of shoes, coats and coat hanger, backpacks, desk furniture, scissors, tape, erasers, random books, first floor jackets. You're a monster. <laughs> A Walmart receipt. Book a tour now, Sullivan Adventure. Beck, do you need anything from the drugstore? I just stopped to buy cigarettes and I'm looking at the beers right now. Ah, uh, well, if you could answer the phone, it might make things easier for me. But yeah, just call me back quickly if you want some. Oh. But please do check if there are any left before you make me buy new ones, okay? Love you. See ya. Zach, do you need anything from the drugstore? I just stopped to buy cigarettes and I'm looking at the beers right now. Uh, well, if you could answer the phone, it might make things easier for me. But yeah, just call me back quickly if you want some. Oh, but please do check if there are any left before you make me buy new ones, okay? Love you. See ya. Here's the third. Yeah, I guess, um, that is not an option.
You notice the key is missing, right? We're on a budget, June. Nice start. Really reminds me of something. Pretty. I love sunset photos. Okay. Okay, that is definitely a nod to Life is Strange with the feather and the plaid. And the ripped jeans. I know, it's a really basic look, you think, except for the feather. And you're probably thinking, not everything has to do with Life is Strange, but that was a nod, for sure. This is not a random book. Sure. Hmm. called me back I assume you didn't want beer but actually I'm calling because I'm stuck in traffic right now can you believe this uh, another shitty day yeah traffic at almost 8 p.m. what the fuck right that definitely makes me want to be on a motorcycle right now and yeah I know you're always right I know but you don't need to get out all the motorcycle ads before I arrive you know I'm not gonna buy one today okay don't get too bored while waiting for your dear wife to call home. Love you. Cars are barely moving one inch an hour. At first I thought it was an accident, but it looks like cops are inspecting the cars as if they were looking for something. I wonder what's going on. Have, have you heard anything about a terrorist attack? Like on the radio or at the paper? I really hope not. Call me back as soon as you can, okay? Please.
breaking news. If you're planning on going in and out of the City of Roses, you'll have to be patient. Unexpected traffic jams have paralyzed the city of Portland. Many people are still trying to get home as we speak. The cause is still unknown, but Helen, I'm sure, is just another poor dog locked in a car. More on that later, but now, here's some jazz. <laughs> Oh, that was not here before. Destructive fire gaining ground in Wyoming. New archaeological discovery in Kenya. Kenya, the archaeological team led by Professor Jean Raymond in Kenya discovered this week a new specimen of dinosaur presumed to be dated from the Paleolithic age. The bones and structure of the specimen are in great shape, almost intact. Declared Professor Raymond. It's really difficult to date this discovery since it's a whole new species we discovered here. Scandal in the scientific community. United Kingdom, could it be possible that an alien life finally encountered Earth? That is the subject of liquid light. The scientific paper in the heart of the scandal. The debacle that is shaking the scientific community of Europe is getting more attention since NASA and CDC have an eye on it. British astrologist Dr. Brennan, working as head of the scientific section of the London Middlesex University, is in the heart of the hurricane after revealing his latest research papers. His colleagues all over country are questioning potential discovery, even raising suspicions over the mental health of the yet respected professor, even states the potential threat the alien could represent, NASA has yet to release a commu communique of press, but made sure to something population by tree. Her threat had been slowly they morph. Portland, around 3 p.m. on Sunday, drivers on their way to Portland through Route 26 got a big scare. Indeed, a man described as extremely tall and barely clothed started walking on the busy driveway as the car drove by him. Witnesses say that he stood in the middle of the road and then tried to follow the cars. When we passed him by, he stared at us with a strange look on his face. Others reported that the man tried to jump on their car and attack them. Most simply observed the man. They described as disoriented, standing on the, uh, on the side of the road. Authorities didn't take long to take the deranged man into care and remove him from the area. The police liaison... David Dupine revealed the man was a patient of the new Mark psychiat psychiatry ward that escaped earlier that day. Authority have not yet revealed the identity of said patient, but claimed the situation was under control and that the man was not a danger to the population anymore. New Mark Hospital fared to provide failed to provide any new information or comment on the case and is remaining silent. Standing still simulator achievement. It was all more fear than harm in the end. Another voicemail. Hey Zach, it's me again. You won't believe it. The cops made us all get out of our cars and, and now we're all waiting for a bus no explanation I, I don't know what the fuck is going on I, I had to leave all my work in the car like how am I gonna get it back <sighs> something's really out of order tonight not to mention you're not answering the frigging phone and it's really frustrating what are you even doing did you get all the messages if you're falling asleep I will find out you know you always make such a mess on the couch and you never clean up and I oh wait a bus has arrived Wait, uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it on the bus. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. Okay. What's the point of having a phone if you don't answer it? Uh, sleep at night, mister. Anyhow, I'm on the bus. It's supposed to take us out of the city. I, I don't know exactly where they'll drop us, but... 
I'll manage to find a way home. I think they got this under control. Whatever this is. The strangest thing is that no one even knows what's going on. Someone said he heard that strange things happen all over town. Did you hear anything back home? Is everything like normal? I don't want to sound alarming, but you still have the gun somewhere, right? It's still loaded, isn't it? I, I have absolutely no idea what it could be, but I've seen strange people standing on the side of the road like they popped out of nowhere and... Well, no, 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 yeah. Please call me if you hear or see anything, or even just to let me know you're not dead. I imagine it'd be in the safe. Zach, pick up the phone for God's sake. What are you doing? Do you even hear it ring? Fucking crazy night. Zach, if you hear me, the boss dropped us somewhere near Pinwheel Street, and they told me a shuttle to Campo Santo would come any minute. I'm almost there, okay? Uh, an old guy said that aliens have come. That's what we're facing. That they're everywhere, and... God, that doesn't make sense, right? Aliens? Come on. He said crazy things, and he had, like, a panic attack. Some, some cops had to calm him down, and... Well, listen. According to a security guard, the shuttle will drop me in our street at 10 sharp. Please make sure you're here at 10 o'clock, Zach, okay? Please, keep an eye on the clock and don't let me down. What would aliens even look like? That's, that's insane. Just, just call me back, please. Okay, I missed one, I guess. Yep. Open the door! Open the door, Zach! I don't want to... 
right, that was short. That was shorter than Marie's room. Wow. I wonder why he wasn't answering the phone? I don't know. Weird.